Right now we're going to the whole anime fight scene. Okay, feed Xehanort. I think that's a worthwhile investment. But I don't think he's trying to actually like hurt Terra, because he he just wants to like let the rage out, I suppose. I guess is what you're trying to say. Like he he doesn't really he's not trying to put up fight. Is what I'm trying to say. Take that, and that. I think we have too strong of a keyblade. <laughs> oh, good, maximum HP increase. That is great. And in with a younger, stronger new one. I swore I would survive and be there to see what awaited beyond the Keyblade War. And now it is your darkness that shall be the arc that sustains me! This heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness, and also end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. submits, your heart succumbs. So why does your mind resist? Behold the lingering will. Yeah, we just play as the lingering will, which is kind of cool. What do you think of that? Well, I'm mainly nervous about this boss fight. Because it's essentially Xehanort. Ow! In our body. I really wish they like, kept the first stats, because that would be like a real. I always wanted like a boss that you have to like level up. Like, you don't know that you're leveling him up. Oh man, I love this music too. This is like... Not the best Kingdom Hearts, but definitely... One of the best scores in the entire franchise. Ow.
Ow. This is actually kind of tough. I expected much. I was gonna be like this, so walk in the park. Oh yeah, he can heal. Ow. Ouch. That one hurt. Okay, because we were doing so well to begin with. <laughs> Retry. I don't like that it has to continue at the first thing. Okay. Ow. I run, run. Yo. Ow. I think I'm more damaged that way. Not on me, but on him. Ow. There's a lot of damage there. Ow, come on, let me move, let me move, let me move. Go! My theory is like, shouldn't he have the same like amount of health as us? Run, buddy, run! There you go, come on, go! Oh, I can't get more damage! I'd rather cure than not be here! Oh, come on! I should have waited to use that. Ow. Here go, go. Oh, wow, he had Blazor. Ow, that actually. Avoid the laser. Ow. Ow. Run, run. Nope.
Come on, go, go. My heart is pounding because this is actually an intense boss. Let's walk, come on. Go. Come on. Yeah! We won. I mean, yes, I knew we'd win. <laughs> Aqua. Then, one day, I will set this right. That was Terror's story. May I say, it's probably one of the darker paths. The boss fight at the end was really difficult. Like, I would find that more and more repetitive. Like, the final boss is surprisingly hard. Um. No, I think Terra is a fine character. Not as great as Ven. I think Ven, so far, is the favorite. Um, my favorite of the ones that we played as. Um, Aqua is my personal favorite of the three. But um, I think, in terms of um, gameplay, it's Aqua, Ven, and then Terra. Um, I really like the idea of him kind of taking the villainous route. Um, that's why I chose it for Halloween. Because we do want to go with like, the more villainous and dark path. Um, yeah, Josh Dorian. I have no idea who that is. Um, not my... When I see Patrick Stewart, I just think of Patrick Stewart. I really like the idea. It, it got to a point where it was like, you know, he's like, really, when's the last time Terra's gonna fall for this? It's the same old chick every time. It's like, hey, hey, we're gonna fall for this one chick and just didn't work. Oh, yeah, because he didn't meet the Seven Dwarves in it. Mm hmm. I think you know. He met the most in Castle Dreams. He didn't meet a lot of Disney Town. Olympus, yeah, there's only those. No, he met, um, Zack. He fought against Zack. That should be there. Why isn't Zack there? QB? Cubby. Oh, that's the bear guy. Okay. He didn't meet. Yeah, he didn't meet him. That was actually. One or more. 
Um, Greg. Greg was a fun boss. He really was. Uh, I think Greg was the best boss in the game, but I really like the inverse design, too. I thought the inverse were a really great aspect of the game. Um, I don't think I saw the Cinderella aspect on this credit scene. Yet. But you can tell even the credits are a bit different for all three of the characters. Um, again, I think it's a great game. Um, any criticism I really have with it is just kind of meh. I could overlook it. Because I generally think this is a good game. Um, I feel like in the long scheme of things, you should probably play as Terra first. Because he does the Xehanort story. But I always concur that um, you can either play as Terra or Ventus first. You always have to finish with Aqua. Because Aqua is kind of like the one that like ends each of the world's stories. Um, Terra always kind of initiates them. Um, Ventus... But this is kind of in the middle ground, and then Aqua ends it, but there's a rare exception, like, in the, um, 100 Acre, not 100 Acre Wood, on uh, Dwarf Woodlands. Let's talk it out, TikTok. Warnies, the future doesn't scare me at all. Nothing's like before. Hey, Riku. Um, so yeah. I think it's the best route? No, I think Venice was a better story path, but again, it's not my favorite character to play at. Um, again, because this walkthrough of Terra was really sure we're gonna have a lot of fill in our couple of months, um, we did unlock, we, we technically, we did unlock Wheeler Dealer for Ventus's path, because I read like, if you complete some of the stories, you unlock, uh, additional challenges in the ranks. Hey, it's the main trinity. That's great. But overall, um, Terra's not my favorite path to necessarily play as. Um, it's definitely up there. Um, but no, it's just a great game in general. Watch, I was able to talk to the entire credit scene. like, yep, that's how I roll. So, yeah. Terra is the darker path again. If you enjoy this stuff like I do, us you know, status have to stick together, you know? Wow, this was unbelievably short. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I generally do love Terra's path. I'm not gonna be like, I wanna see what my stats were actually. It's gonna be like, my favorite dealing was probably Melissent. That's probably my guess. Yeah, he's defeated. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm listening three times. Wow, it took me nine hours to beat that. That's impressive. I'm going to save anyway, because I do want to save the end game because then it can get more stuff and beat our trials. Nine hours. That's how long it took. I think it took us Ventus um, a couple less than that. But I'm not 100% certain. But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe for more Kingdom Hearts stuff. We're definitely going to take um, a look at the Melody and Memory demo. Actually, I want to look at the chronological thing before I officially end the video. Because the next path is Aqua. If I'm right... No, yeah, he had to land a, land a depart- Yeah. So, I was right. Ventus is unbelievably slow because by the time he got there, he beat them to Enchanted Dominion. They were like right after each other there. Right after each other in Castle of Dreams. Yeah, Ventus was later there. Yeah, the Badlands, that makes sense. Um, wow, Ventus was there longer. He was the, the longest um, of the two. Oh, really? Ventus was there first? Okay. Yeah, Ventus was the. Nah, wait a minute. Yeah, that does make sense because of Zack. Zack won the first round. So, yes, that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. And then he fought against Terra. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I thought they overlapped. He showed up a bit before. No! Wait a minute, no. That's either skewed. Terra needs to be moved a bit more. Like, Terra's Neverland needs to move like, where the tip of these spaces. Because he was technically at there first, and Ventus is kind of overlapped with the Shooting Star incident. I don't think Terra was near the back half of it. It was definitely in the front half of Ventus's um, Neverland. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, the Badlands, the Badlands, yeah, uh, Departure, yeah, okay, really, yeah, it makes sense, because he had the Aftermath, so he was battling him, so yeah, that's the timeline, I was definitely right that, um, Ventus was just slow, um, for me, um, for Ventus, it could either be that Dwarf Woodlands or Castle of Dreams took place first, but I mean, 1,010 percent, it was like, yeah, that makes more sense, well, Till then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Let's take a look at some of the challenges with Terra. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye.